Hello, it's Monday, the beginning of the week. This week should be fun. I have a few very fun things that are happening, which is a uh, one um, is today in the evening. I have a meeting, a holiday party with my local mom photographer friends. So that should be fun. And it's kind of late. We start at eight o'clock in the evening, which I'm like, normally I start getting ready for bed by then, but we'll see. I am determined to go because we don't get together much at all. And I want to see the ladies because I haven't seen most of them in a very long time. And then on Tuesday, Tuesday boys have soccer in the evening and I also have an in-person consultation afterwards so that should be fun as well on Wednesday we have midweek church activities and then for the rest of the week I do not have any appointments currently scheduled which ev everything can change being um, yeah working from home things change a little bit once in a while but <clears throat> on Sunday I have a family photo session for a wonderful client of mine that I have worked with before and if you are into productivity you probably have heard of Laura Vanderkamp. She's an amazing author. She writes about time management. So I'm doing her um, newborn photos. So that is very exciting. And then this morning was just a normal morning. We did some chores around the house and we also went grocery shopping because we needed a few things, actually many things that we needed. And now Misha, as you can tell, is exhausted because it's his nap time. And I am in the parking lot of the car dealership. And now we are here to look at the car, which they brought. They did not have something on the lot when we visited on Saturday last week. So my husband should come here in a moment, like 10-15 minutes, and then we're going to look at the car and then the rest of the day should be good too. <laughs> We are back home from the dealership. Misha is on the couch. He was awake when I put him down there, so I'm not sure if he's going to fall asleep. Let me show you what we got at Costco if you are curious. So, if it's funny, seems like we got everything double or quadruple, so four gallons of milk. That's how much we normally get. We ran out of apple juice. Parmesan cheese was on sale. They got cereal bar that my kids love. Then cream, bagels, you always have to get two of those there. Avocado. Uh, calendar for 2020. This is going to be for my aunt, honey and ginger, even though this is yummy, but from what I read is that ginger can cause more heartburn and I cannot have any more heartburn. Bread, macaroons, because my five-year-old were begging for them for weeks already and we're finally getting it. Cereal, because it was on sale and my husband wanted specifically this one, so that was perfect. Eggs, tomatoes, peppers, and bananas. So basically, again, the things that we eat a lot. Look what we got! <laughs> Do you want one? Yeah. Now or later? Okay. <laughs> Which one I want is the orange. Orange? Okay. I like orange. <laughs> Girls nights out! I can't believe this. This doesn't happen like ever. Normally when we meet up with my photographer friends, we always get together with children. But today is not the occasion, so Will is home. My husband is home with um, with the boys, and I'm going to see my colleagues. It's Tuesday today. My major events and all of my appointments were supposed to be done in the evening. So the soccer practice for the boys and then consultation and my target run are coming all the way in the evening. However, this morning I was like, oh, I can record my 30 week pregnancy update because I was 30, week pregnant, um, 30 weeks pregnant yesterday. So I'm like, oh, I should do that. I should take a picture of my belly for the video cover and just in general for, for the record. And then this morning I was like, okay, I will wait for Misha to fall asleep. So I did a, a little bit of house chores around the house, did a little bit 
to work in the morning and then I was like okay when he goes to sleep then I will do like the things that I want to get done um like major de not major declutter but a little bit more decluttering well he had a lot of trouble falling asleep I am not sure he just behaved differently today he ate very little and he did not sleep as much as I would like him to sleep is it raining it's raining that's why it's so dark so and he basically slept so little and because i went out yesterday and like i came back at around midnight and went to bed around one ish or something like this i was pretty tired and i thought i would be able to power through but i'm like oh no i can't so basically i took a longer nap than he did and then the moment i got up he got up and i'm like oh my goodness you wait for that precious nap or like you think it's going to be quiet and you will be able to figure out more things that are in your to-do list and that's not true with small kids you just have to get done as much as possible and not to rely on the nap that might not be coming so basically when we woke up i just speed cleaned a lot around my house not a lot like random little things switched the laundry did some kitchen errands did a little bit of email because there i got a few emails to reply and then now we picked will up from school and now we are getting ready to go to school so i need to pack school soccer i need to pack a few things for the soccer and then pack for my consultation because i'm leaving the moment we get back home and uh, that, uh that's tuesday for you <laughs> yesterday pretty late because my consultations are normally later in the evening because my husband has to get home to hang out with the boys so my consultation went I don't remember 8 30 9 ish something like this it was kind of late and then I stopped at Target to grab a few things because it's like super close everything is super close on that plaza next to each other so I grabbed um, a few things for the baby for myself for the hospital so I'm kind of excited I'll show it to you in just a few moments if you want to see and then um, yeah and then I got home and went straight to bed. Today's plan is work on my to-do list. I'd be, I do have a few appointments. Hopefully a fellow photographer stops by my house and picks up a soft box that I was selling that I bought by mistake and I used it for a little bit but I'm not planning on using it ever again I don't think. I mean you can always use things but like how many things can you keep in your house? So I would rather get rid of it so hopefully she's coming um, to my house to pick it up and I'm excited because I'm going to meet her as well. It's always fun for me to meet fellow photographers, especially when you work from home when you don't really have real co-workers. It is super fun. I actually need to message her and see if she wants some tea and macaroons because I have some macaroons. So maybe that would be a little date for us. We do have midweek church activities, but otherwise I don't have any appointments that have to be happening today. So I will just work off of my to-do list for again for work and for house, which there's plenty of things to do. I actually yesterday looked at my to-do list. I have 30 or 31 projects that I have to do and there's only like as of today 24 days left off of January. So I'm like, oh wow. And that's just the important things that must be done in January. So it, more than one project have to be checked off the list every day. So like, okay, I need to get things done. <laughs> so let's do it. So this is what I got yesterday at Target. The changing mat because after having two boys two kids the our existing one wore off pretty badly and it was pretty broken up so new changing pad I got some newborn diapers and some detergent that is going to be for like newborn sensitive skin so I'm going to wash my clothing that I will be wearing at the hospital and all the baby's clothing for that I bought the pillow or whatever that is like the head protecting or like head securing pillows for the car seat nose freedom just in case hopefully we don't get sick anytime soon but I would rather have that at home just in case some black tea some shampoo for my husband primrose oil so that I can start taking it in a few weeks to help me with labor and then this is vitamin D because I'm planning on breastfeeding 
and I think that is a pretty normal prescription for all the newborns. And then some Valentine's Day towels, super cute, some two pacifiers, and some adult diapers for the hospital for me. I am not, I was a little confused about sizing, so I'll have to try these on, see how they fit and what they are, because I've never used them before. But I wonder if I would feel more comfortable wearing those rather than pads at the hospital, so we'll see. So that's my little haul at Target. <laughs> Today we did not have any appointments, so today was a very, very, um, kind of like a normal day for us. We hung out at home for the most part, and I just worked on my computer for the most of the day. Now my brain feels so exhausted, even though it was like very manual routine things. I took, I collected my 2019 business miles for uh, tax purposes, and then I collected all of my expenses, or collected organized expenses for my photography work again for 2019. Uh, it's basically all done, which I'm super happy about. I just need to go through our personal credit card statements, make sure that there is nothing left there that we used for business. But otherwise, that is done. That was a lot of sitting by my computer. Finally got a self-portrait of me at 30 week pregnancy update. And now we are outside for 20 minutes just to freshen up our mind. And the rest of the day will be pretty quiet as well. I will finish up a little bit more with my computer work for organizing my older eldest son schedule for his school and hopefully get some library event lined up for us to do and then maybe do some baby organizing and research for what has to go into the hospital bag and what I need to do in the house for the baby. But for now, yes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of enjoyment. Okay, buddy, let's go play. Hi guys, it's Friday. Today, the day started off not really good. I was very, not very, just frustrated a little bit and sad that some of my efforts were not paying off as I thought they should be or things that I was working on were worthless or unsuccessful, I guess. And then I don't even know what time it is right now. Around three o'clock right now, I only right now picked up the camera because the morning was fine. The morning was normal had breakfast hung out with Misha did some work so no footage recorded because it was like very normal very standard morning for us but then I felt like I was sad and unsatisfied I'm like Lord please show me tell me what I need to be doing in my life and how can I make things work for myself so I got myself a cup of tea a snack that I knew is going to make me feel better have my candle 
lit, which I, I got myself a candle and then I sat down and then I wrote a things that came to my mind that I'm pretty sure are true and things that are that I should be pursuing in my life, which is not money, which is not comfortable home, which is not people pleasing, but it's it is about the my knowledge of God and what he entrusted me in my life and what he forces and things and uh, basically yes whatever he has entrusted to me am I stewarding those well and if I will be working well on those things then I will have way more success than when I'm just trying to do things with my own strength and money and comfort and beautiful home is wonderful but that might not be what God has for me in life which sounds weird but sometimes I'm going to put you down because my hand is tired from holding the camera but yes it was a very freeing realization which yesterday I kept just thinking to myself that so many things that I want to achieve my, in my life are connected to the amount of money that we have. If I would like to put Will in school, my older son, in school that I really like, it will cost us a lot of money. If I want to change my housing situation and decorate it, because right now I'm not very happy with the way my house is, it will cost a lot of money. Everything is very expensive. Same thing with going out or doing activities. Everything costs so much money and I'm like, well, God can give me money. I keep telling people in my business, my wedding photography business, I pay taxes on everything that I earn, even on the tips. Sometimes people tell me, why do you pay taxes on the tips? It's like the bonus. It's a gift for you. But in the tax forms, it does say income, revenue, and tip. So the government expects you to pay taxes on tip. And I do because I believe that if these are the rules that are established, God did tell us pay whatever belongs to the government and do not try to hide anything or take anything away. And I know everyone is doing their own thing. I do not want to blame anyone or try to convict anyone in doing things wrong. Everyone needs to make their own decision. For me personally, I believe that this is true. And anytime people question me about it, I tell people I can win a lottery without buying a lottery ticket if God wants me to have that money. And sometimes you forget you in the business of life and like pursuit of better life. We forget that that's true. And that is. And I'm so sorry about this uncomplimentary uh, angle of the camera. I don't know how to look. I did put the camera on the tripod, but you got to see the light. So... <laughs> You're welcome. But yes, that was my day. I wrote my goals for 2020, which I'm very happy for. And now I will just go on with my day and will go off of the goals that I have wrote for myself, for my business, for my home, for my family. And I will try to be as contented as possible because from what I... Boo! Oi! Who's that, boo? Boo! Me, Sonia. That's right. Because from the conclusion that I have made for myself is that it's not about anything we do, but it's about our heart. One moment, buddy. So it's not about the pursuit of things and relationships and pleasing people, but it's about getting to know God and it's about pleasing Him and stewarding the resources that He gave us well. I hope that helps you as well. Um, and I hope that is encouraging as well to you. today today was a good day uh, we're not done just yet I'm going to give you a short recap of what happened today and then I will show you the rest of the day because there's still two more hours of it to go but I think I'll be going down very soon I'm very tired whatever today exciting news we basically bought a car a van I think it's a van I am so bad with cars oh my goodness we got up pretty early 6 30 ish or so which is a little bit earlier for me than normally and plus I could 
could not go to bed the night before so that was a little bit difficult bless you buddy so we grabbed the kids and went to um an hour away or so in the area where my parents-in-law live so we went to one dealership and then we went to another dealership in the morning which was kind of a longer drive another dealer the dealership that's right buddy it was the kids had some fun but it was a long drive so they were a little bit tired as well but um it was a little not that it was disappointing it's just because the decision was so big and it's a lot of money and like we're buying this vehicle for for a few years definitely so it was a little stressful plus I, I my brain could not handle all of the details so my husband was doing all of the research for all of the vehicles and comparison and everything because it was like way too many details for me to handle my brain is not made to research cars I can look at houses but cars is just like way too much so basically we went to a few spots that he found that had an appropriate vehicle that we were looking for and we didn't um really like what we saw in the morning so we went to my parents-in-law afterwards oh that's right at one of the dealerships they had such cute fish outside and apparently they keep them outside for the whole winter because there's a little heater in the pond so they are okay staying there over the winter so that was cute the boys enjoyed watching them very much and the salesperson actually let the boys feed them which was so cute but yeah then we went to my parents-in-law had lunch with them together and then went to another dealer which I'm like, oh, I don't know, should we go, should we not go? My husband was like, let's go look. So, and there was that car that we we'll come in. put the down payment on. Yeah, there's Will. Will. And we will pick it up in a few days mm -hmm. next week. But yes, and then we drove home and it was like three o'clock in the afternoon when we were driving. So we got home at four, four thirty, whatever. And now everyone ate, everyone relaxed a little bit. I did a tiny bit of planning, a little bit of the client emails because I did receive a few emails that I needed to respond back to. And now... <sighs> I have a photo session tomorrow. I need to prepare for it. I need to wash something that I will be bringing for the newborn in case they want to use it. And I'm like, okay, if I'm washing one item, thankfully I bought the newborn safe uh, detergent. So that's just on time for the session because I don't do that many newborn sessions. That's why it's out of the routine for me. I don't have the normal things that normal newborn photographers have so i'm like well if i'm washing that i need to wash my baby's stuff and my clothing together with those items so that um it's not a waste of the whole cycle for one item or two items whatever so that's what i'll do right now go through some items here that i have here and then also my newborn box and things that i want actually i guess all of the newborn things can be washed as well as my clothing that is going to the hospital so that is kind of exciting because that's basically my hospital and my baby's diaper bag that is being taken care of right now In the morning, we, uh, me and my older son, we went to the church as we normally do, but then my husband and the youngest son stayed home because my little one was, he's a little sick. 
He had some snotty noses running yesterday and then today overnight he was coughing like dry cough as if it's just starting out some kind of cold or something so they stayed home and now we dropped off the car seats back at the store that did not fit and now the boys uh, wandered around the store and played with the toys a little bit and I got just a few things that I was missing for my hospital bag and just in general for whatever I will need after the birth so I'm excited to have those things I'm not sure if I'm missing anything anymore to watch a few videos and make sure or like read a few articles which I think I'm pretty sure I did already I think I have everything it's just like I'm like you always think am I really prepared or am I missing something but I'm pretty sure I have everything and now I am just hanging out in my car I looked at a few newborn poses because right now I'm going to the photo session and just to tell you I did email the mom to confirm that if, if it's okay with her to come over if my son is a little snotty and possibly sick I feel absolutely fine so she said that's okay she is not not concerned so now I'm will be driving over to their house and do some newborn photos I'm so excited to meet baby and see the whole family because yeah, I've done a few sessions for them already and it's always fun to to see them how they're growing and changing hey, Sonia, what do you think about the baby um, it's small. is it so small it's so cute it's so cute is it a boy it is a little boy yes <laughs> There's a little boy right there. This is so cute. 